the, the Navajo Nation uh, could really be built up just because of the young people. We have more young people than older folks, okay? Because of that, we could all band together. The young people can band together and come up with a real strong one-liner, one small but powerful, like the Nefers or something like that. And from there, what does that mean? It means this, 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 <laughs> all the stuff that you said here, and even more. But these are like projects, right? These are like projects we can do. All right, now we can really put ourselves on that. When we do, other nations, the other indigenous people will start thinking about, oh, if they can do it, we can do it too, you know, kind of thing. So we can help each other. All right, yeah, all right, let's go back to our, let's stop this little goodie. How come it's, how come it's not? Oh, I have one more to do. Okay, yeah. so let's find that one too. Uh, let's see, let's stop this Maya, one. Billy. Okay, it's Maya. Like if issues never happened or something modern. Okay. All right, so let me stop this one. And let's put this one up here. Uh, issues. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go back to here. Uh, Kelby, I see a couple of yours too. Okay. All right. So what you're saying is. Um, this is not running in here. Uh, it was sent on April sixth. Okay, and the title is what? If issues never happen, Navajo Nation. Navajo Nation. Okay, I got it. All right, got it. Got it. Here we go. We'll, we'll pull this over. <clears throat> All right, so we'll give the floor back to you as soon as I. There we go. All right, back to you. Maya. If internet issue, whenever an issue on the Navajo Nation. Explanation. 54% of the Navajos in the Navajo Nation do not have access to the internet at, at home. 54% 54, 54 is more than half. Most of the Navajos in the Navajo Reservation live in rural areas where internet access is very limited. Normally, in order to get access to the internet, you have to drive to the nearest town, which is at least half an hour away. Better access. Improved grades. Most schools depend on technology to get their material across. Less deaths. Most, home, most homes are out of service range when calling for an emergency. When an ambulance arrived, patient may not have made it. Better communication. Can easily contact family members of friends anytime or friends any time of the day or night. Better access to. Job, ex job access can work online, full-time access to global news, cloud storage, able to save work of any kind without the need of a flash drive. Ah, nice. Yeah, internet, big, big issue. All right. Um, Caleb also has one to do. Caleb? All right, and uh, what's the title of that one? Okay, what happened? Oh, there we go. Caleb, Caleb. 10 year plan, is that the one? All right, 
Let's go back to this. Okay, look, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I do that one that says 10 year plan. No. Uh, other one, this is. Uh, okay. The other one says. Um, well, uh, my computer is still. Is that? Okay. All right. Is that the one that says uranium? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Now, push it on. It's a non. And let's see, let's open this up. Via, Caleb, your turn. Uh, next slide. Uh, next one. Okay. Nearly 30 million tons of uranium ore were removed from the Navajo land with an allocation between 1944 and 1986. Can you turn up your mic? Yeah. Move him out again. Many Navajos worked in the mines frequently, frequently living and raising their children near the mines and mills. The mines are now closed, but a legacy of uranium pollution persists. Oh, did you read all of it or do I need to go back? Yeah, you go back. Let's see, let's see. So how do we do that? How do we do that? There we go. Ah, sorry. Lung cancer by inhaling radioactive particles as well as bone cancer and reduced renal functions from exposure to radion nucleides in drinking water are all potential health impacts. Uh, mm -hmm. Impacts of lead soil mineral name for uranium meaning double dirt are seen as part of the monster that the NAV was perceived in atomic power. They believe they must fight the monster because it symbolizes symbolizes the ultimate hostility of present industrial civilization for everything which societies hold dear. Next one. According to the University of New Mexico and Chief Medical Officer of the Nation for Indian Health Services, a partner in the research stated 781 women were screened during an initial phase of the study that ended last year. Among them, 26% had concentrations of uranium dioxide levels found the highest 5% of the U.S. population, and newborns with equally high concentrations continued to be exposed to uranium during their first year to study. The research the research is continuing as authorities work to clear uranium mining sites across the Navajo Nation. Next one. What if Navajo Nation was never afflicted by uranium? Next one. If uranium was never discovered and leached into our sensitive ecosystem, Nature will most likely thrive in our land. If uranium decays, it emits radon, which is extremely deadly in nature if there is a big amount of it left over following the extraction process. It will also not be floating around the environment, which will take 200 years or more to degrade. Next one. If the mines cleaned up, once they were finished and the companies taken responsibility, their people would have such high rates of cancer. Each generation suffers long-term health consequences such as having high prevalence of Down syndrome. This indicates that radioactive decay, which occurs in the open around open mines has tainted our genetic structure. Next one. 
if the nuclear arms race or the Soviet Union did not exist, um, uranium would not harm or damage people's health or the environment. The only thing we would have we have to concentrate on is the economy and employment. Oh. Because at the time, numerous minimum wage jobs were available all over the tribe, and most of them were in natural resource sectors. It also imply that the Navajo Nation will remain an undeveloped nation for many years. I'm done. Very good. <clears throat> wow. 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 We would have been really thriving, I think, if we didn't have that. And, and it's so long. I mean, the sickness constantly dealing with it. Wow. Uh, so there it is. Chat, thank you so much. Um, let's take this one and that here. So uh it, leah kelby nelly do you have any more before i head on to another another one you got it all all right let's go to uh, uh my we, yes lanticia and nelly so are we oh, no. Nelly has one. Okay, Nelly has one. And let's see. Let's see. We did that one. And Megan. Okay, what was the name of yours? Okay, she's sending hers to you again. Oh, okay. I'll be good. All right, while we're waiting. Is it Leticia? Leticia? Yeah. Is that the one? Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. We have two. It, okay, the two, okay. Here we go, let's get, get them on. Uh, it's coming on slowly. There we go, got it. So this is the first one. And view. Okay. Ntisia Yat E. Yat E. Lik E. Dorsha Dene. She E. Lentisia Ki Initia. Tanesan initially, Sendikin A Bush team, Sendikin A dish to J. Little Lena de Janella, Big A Bahadana de Nasha. This is my presentation. If the Navajo Nation didn't have a shortage of police officers, benefits. We would have an increase of public safety. The police officers would get to locations where they are needed much faster the death rates may decrease. Police officers would have partners, therefore having faster backup. You will provide more security and dependability among families, more unity in the police department. Explanation. The number for police officers are dangerously low. Radio and phone coverage is not reliable in all areas of tribal land. Police officers of the, on the Navajo Nation are low, therefore resulting in no partners. Many cops ride alone, causing more danger unto them. Buildings are poor, in poor condition are closed. Being sure on officers means they have to spread out to locations far from each other. Police officers and citizens in difficult situations are often in need of a police officer. And if they're not there on time, it can result in the death of the citizen or police officer. The people of okay, sorry. the people of the Navajo Nation, the people of the Navajo Nation need to feel more security and dependability. They need to know and feel protected. Ah, very good. Yeah, very good. I I seen the Jania chat, so that's cool. Um, I, I do have a little story, quick story. So I have a gentleman over here, west of Blan, Utah, elder, retired. Uh, he says, 
I used to be a police officer. He says, but I never carried around a gun. I never carried around like radio. We didn't have those things. This is way back then. But he says, the best, the best thing that, ever, that I ever had was a rope. Is this, so somebody was uh, causing trouble. I would take the rope and I would, and they took off. I would actually rope them <laughs> and then I would tie them up. It says, I didn't have to use a gun. I didn't have to use a taser. I, I didn't like these modern people do. It says that all, we, I've always been able to uh, get the people, you know, that they're causing trouble. So, you know, that's a little story. All right. Did you say you had another one? Yes, I have another one. Okay, let's see. Let's stop this one. <clears throat> And let's go over here again. All right, there we go. It's called Navajo Nation present. Okay, oops. Slowly coming up. All right, here we go. And view. A little slow, a little slow. All right, there we go. Okay. Okay. This is my presentation, uh, President of the Navajo Nation, Future Ideas, the next 10 years. In the next 10 years, there will be an increase in the use of drugs and alcohol in the Navajo Nation. Studies show that the rates will have increased gradually over the years and will continue unless something is done. As alcoholism and drug use increase, the health conditions of the Navajo residents will decrease, causing sickness and death. I think over time, the needed necessities will be met and we will have basic demands. I think that the rate of poverty will decrease because I believe that this generation has more devoted people. Some examples are that we have people who are not afraid to talk and express opinions and people who want to make money to help their community. I think that technology will get more advanced and we will have more buildings and available opportunities. My mission of presidency, engaging a strong relationship with the US government. I will help the 35% of Navajo residents with no water to have access to it. I will help in providing the Navajo residents with electricity. There are about 15,000 residents without it. 43% of the Navajo Nation people are living below the poverty rate, almost half. I want to decrease this percentage as much as I can. I will create more opportunities for the people, such as education, transportation, health, safety, and law enforcement. My vision statement. As president, I will put the people first, ensure education among all children until graduation, and provide basic necessities in healthcare and so much more. These are the few of the deeds I will be doing in helping make the Navajo Nation great. What I hope to achieve in presidency is providing Navajos with security, stability, and protection with the fundamental needs so that they can eventually thrive on their own and that the next generation can see from this example and learn from it. Hey, I don't jamais have a vision. Uh, vision has to do with seeing. And so in Navajo, we would probably say, you know, let's dream, let's create, let's make it ours. You know, kind of, yeah. Thank you so much, Kat. I like I like the first people idea again. All right, yeah. All right, any 
Anyone know another one? Stop being vision. Um, Korea. All right. So now let's go to. Uh, let's go to. Do you have anything, Maya? Yeah, I have the history one. Okay, the history one. Here we go. Let's go with the history. Now Holy Street. Okay. I think I hope that's not me. Mm. Right again. Why am I not getting it? Hmm. Right, one more time. I'm getting a different thing on it. Okay, let's see. I see it. I just can't. Ah, I think I think I got it. And now it's get slowed down. Slow, slow, slow. Let me know if that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right, you're on. Okay, um, next one. Okay, um, in 2000, President Clinton approved congressional medals to World War II co-talkers. And the next one. And then I looked into it and I couldn't really see much about it. So this was just my kind of assumption or educated guess on what it would have been. Mm -hmm. um, it says, when they were where the Navajo Nation received a spotlight, much of the country didn't know who the Navajo, who the Navajo were then. After Clinton awarded the medals, it became more known. By becoming more known, it showed what it was like to live with the circumstances on the Navajo Reservation. The attention benefit, benefited them and helped increase their life bit by bit through the country's whereabouts of their situation. And then that's it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Go talk. Uh, the, the woman that can actually do a presentation that goes around. Um, he's about 95 years old. He's, he's a former and now nation president. Uh, the, the name just slipped. This one went by me. I can't. Can't think of right now, but if somebody remembers, let me know. <laughs> All right, let's go down and stop the presentation. Yeah, no, thanks so much. Yeah. All right, let's go to Sydney. You ready, Sydney? Yeah, let me just send them to you one second. Okay, Sydney, we're good. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love all the presentations today. Okay, there's one that's called Teen Issues, is that the one? Yeah, and then I was hoping to do my vision statement today too, if that's all right. Okay, yeah, that'd be fine. All right, let's go ahead and bring this in. And view and slides. Sydney, you're on. Okay, so this is a teen issue slide. So I decided to do the issue of about employment during school breaks. 
I want everyone to have some work experience while they're in school so they can support themselves and their families if they need to. This project will be done during the summer break so that kids can still focus on school though. Um, why am I doing it? I'm doing it because it's hard for kids to find jobs while still in school and I wanted to do it so it's easier for them to find jobs. Um, we'll hopefully work with different organizations to find jobs that kids can help out with that will hopefully also be something that they're interested in, but these will also give them just life skills in general. Um, our workers will mainly consist of volunteers, but if a student wants to work with us or if a worker does need income, we'll set aside money for them. Mm -hmm. How will I do it? I'll implement this plan by using the library at Chinle High School and then network with people to find our organizations and businesses that are hiring. And then if anyone who is looking for a job, can, they can contact us and learn what, our oppor what opportunities are available to them. We'll also use a website so that our in-person hours will stay small. And because we will use volunteers, we'll really only be available for around um, 9 to 3 p.m. on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays. Mm -hmm. um, so for the cost, a uh, phone plan with Microsoft Offices is about $30 a month or $90 for three months, which is about how long summer break is. A website is about $400. And then worker payment, we were thinking about $12 an hour or about $288 for each pay period. And so if, with only volunteers, that would only be $490 for the break in total and up to $4,000 if we only had two paid workers. Mm -hmm. Ah, Johnny, yeah. yeah, good plan, good plan, excellent. Workers, yeah, we need workers. Ex one, experience, we talked about that. And two, to just earn. And then I think that I, the opportunity to be knowing, getting to know other people is good. Uh, just an example, I have uh, here uh, in it's called San Juan County, we have federal lands. And every summer, they're always asking, we need some young people to help us with, the, you know, manning, maintenance, whatever, with, with our, 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 our federal lands. Uh, uh, some of them are parks, some of them are places where you just study like trees or grass or whatever. Uh, so, so is this a plug for them? Like, if you're interested in wanting a summer job, maybe it, there's a place in Monticello where the federal land is the place is. And you can just find out when they start, when you can get started and that'd be, that'd be cool. <clears throat> but that, I'm glad that we're able to say we can dream and find out ways to figure out something like this. Uh, and you, you said there's another one that you have, okay. that one aside and let's go to another okay i think i got a vision statement right yep all righty let's go move this into here i am so glad everybody's all together and giving these presentations, I mean, yeah. love it. All right, Sydney, you're on. Okay, so this is my vision statement. If I were to become the Navajo Nation president, I want to build a more educated community. And so our first goal is that we want to keep teen teenagers in high school. Our goal is to implement lessons that will connect them more with our culture and decolonize the learning space. I'll also try to implement night school for adults who don't have their GED. And then we will push for those high schoolers to continue their education and go on to strengthen the community by bringing back their degree and bringing back new occup occupations to the community. Um, and then our community will become more educated and we will have more diverse careers as more people are going to earn their degrees. Um, with the implementation of these new careers or the beginnings of implementation, the Navajo Nation will start to thrive and become more prosperous. This will hopefully lead to less of us being below the poverty line and create more opportunities of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all sorts of education. That's true. Yeah, very good. And Johnny, I like it. I like it. I like the circle. 
Yeah, putting it in one place. All right. Let's go ahead and let this one move this over. All right. Let's see. This it's now five fifty-five. We can do a couple more. Uh, Manitou, are you ready? Oh yeah, we're ready. Um, we emailed you our slides. Okay, I I got three. Is that right? Three yes. of them. Yeah. Okay, I'll start with the teen issue one. And here we go. Teen issue one right here. Slow. My computer's slowing down. I don't know why. All right, here we go. Insert new. And there. Enter this. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, that's my sister, so we have the same clan. But our teen issue is the importance of completing high school. Uh -huh. What is the solution to teen issues? Um, Encouraging an after school program which will result in teacher help, time management, work getting done, and improved grades. Why is it important to complete high school? Um, better career opportunities and education can improve your skills um, and less chances of unemployed and homelessness. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <coughs> Where would we have the program at? It would be best held <laughs> at school to ensure. <laughs> I'm sorry, it would be best to be held at school to ensure <laughs> help from teachers. How much would this program cost? Hopefully this program wouldn't cost anything, but volunteers, preferably <laughs> teachers and staffs at the school. who would help run this program? Um, like I said to the previous slide, teachers and staff at the school to ensure getting things done and just the familiarity of the teachers. How long will this program run? <laughs> this would best help work throughout the whole year, but would also work for the last semester of the graduating class. Any uh -huh. questions? Any questions? Anyone can ask a question. You can put it in our post. I mean, our chat. Okay. So, um, I'll ask. yeah, you must have done a real good job. <laughs> Either that or we, we can't think of a question. All right. So, let me go back. So, um, volunteers, um, you covered a lot of areas, time management, yep, very good. Anybody have any thoughts? I wanted to show you just so you guys can see if you have a question. <clears throat> All right, yeah, thank you so much. And let's take this to this other side. Stop. And you got another one, right? Okay. We have two more. Two more, right. Okay, we'll go as quickly as possible. 
Come on, here we go. All right, here we go. Um, how about Navajo Nation goals? Yeah, we get it. Thanks. Okay, here we go. All right, um, yeah. So Navajo Nation goals as a Navajo Nation president slash vice president. I think it went too far. All right, there we go. So for our vision statement for the Navajo Nation, our objective is to guide in the development of healthy, self-sufficient Navajo Nation where all Diné can thrive. Our people will be happy to call this place home from seasoned professionals to new college graduates trade workers to those who are already working on the Navajo Nation. We see Navajo Nation where all people and generations may prosper. We'll be working to empower Navajo people and build a nation based on opportunity and collaboration and sustainability. Goals for the Navajo Nation to empower risk takers and assist Navajo's, Navajo building through technology creative mentorship, create businesses and an entrepreneur incubators. More gravel pits should be built to make paving and repairing dirt roads easier. Address the workforce shortage in our school and in, in our schools, including teachers, school buses, school drivers, and our school admin, administration. Commit to using technology to improve government efficiency and, involve and cool. involvement. Water is life, protect and work hard on using 56% of, of the San Juan River water to which we have rights to, but by working with the farmers, ranchers and livestock owners who use the river for their livelihood. Work with chapters and enterprises so that we can use the water for their sustainability. Very nice, Ms. Shoshana. Good goals. Um, and uh, vision statement, Johnny at self-sufficiency. Yeah, just, just rely on yourself, you know, don't have to. We would become the leaders if we were self-sufficient. All right, cat. Let me go back to this other one. And we'll go move this one. And you got one more. All right, so here we go. This is called the long walk, is that right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. I am so glad that you guys both things together. Here we go, here we go. You don't need to get clear. Okay. <clears throat> the long walk. I watch my feet as I walk, holding my mom's hand, the sun burning my back. I look back to see the sick pushing forward to move. All of us starving, all of us are starving, feet aching. My dad carrying my sister, struggling himself. Days go on with nothing but an ounce of water, wandering in my thoughts, just to be interrupted by the rushing waters that lay ahead. I eager, Edgar to be safe as we pass with hesitation. The waters are hard to fight. The waters are hard to fight. The waters are too strong. I take my mother's hand as she looks at me in distress. My father and sister right behind us to take every step with caution and stress. Me and my mother take me and my mother make it to the other side. My father's holding onto my sister as they hold onto a log to get good grip. <clears throat> the water is strong and sweeping the water is too strong, however, and sweeps them away without hesitation. My mother my mother crying for her lost child and husband, but we must go on. A mother, 
A month goes by and mother starts to get sick of starvation. I try to encourage her to keep going, but she cannot go any farther. I carry her for miles until she took her last breath on my back. I could feel her chest stop moving. I can't carry her any longer. I have no choice but to leave her. We finally get to safety and through all of this, I left my family without a proper burial. I only wish to hold them again, but we are safe at last. Mm -hmm. yeah. very, very good. Cash it up. Really good. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what you said is just totally true. Totally true. Um, all right. Do we have anybody else before we head out for tomorrow? Uh, <clears throat> you might want to email me and say, I got one for tomorrow. Okay. So I will see everybody tomorrow. Yeah, very good. Very good. I'll go ahead and stop the share. I'll go ahead and stop the computer.